Hi everybody, this is Roland, Barbecue Smoker Pros, Brasselton, Georgia. This is a really different custom build. It came out really nice. I want to give you a tour of it. We're getting a lot of calls for pizza ovens. And people want pizza ovens and they want to make their own bread for their pulled pork sandwiches, Philly cheesesteak sandwiches, things like that. So the dome ovens are generally for pizza and sort of the, I call them rectangle, a little bit more like a longer dome, not with the real type of top dome, but longer. My understanding is it's more for pizza and bread. If I'm mistaken, please uh, put it in the comments. Don't call me an idiot because I just eat bread and butter and beer, drink beer and eat pizza anyway, no matter how it's made. So this one here is not for a stone mason pizza oven. Those weigh like 2,500 pounds, so we got to do double axle in this. This is a stainless steel pizza oven. The barbecue pit master has his own, so he just gave us the specs. We built this out for him. On the bottom here is for his tools, his pizza peeling tools, those long pole pizza turning tools. I'm not a pizza expert, so don't yell at me again. This here is like a closet. This is a three shelf pull out. He can keep his spices, his tools, his things like that with a long, deep cubby on the bottom. Very handy. It's also, it's also a warmer. You want to keep stuff warm because you're going to get the heat from, this is called the Santa Maria Argentine Becerra Grill. Um, I didn't understand exactly what this was. Now I do over here. This is where you're going to be lighting up your firewood and making charcoal, making hot ashes. And so we've made different size holes here. It's not that we forgot to put the rods there. You want some big charcoals, small charcoals, medium charcoal sizes. So we made different holes. So different size charcoal will come through reinforce the door because we know five years from now it will warp and a lot of guys forget to do that this is a two by four grill that's the outside measurements two by four the inside's a little bit small obviously the grill rack has to fit in there our door here also opens so he can take his charcoal that he makes put it right into here we have it separated so that if he wants just very few charcoals in here, it's not going to get that awesome heat that will come pouring through there. We've learned that from others that we've done. This is obviously his meat rack. This is his pulley system. What separates us again is we do our very best for our people and that's stainless steel cable. We found out that it lasts longer, more flexible. It seems these cables seem to last about six months or so. Uh, you can pick them up at Home Depot or Lowe's. They're really not that expensive. Um, so again, we don't want to put a big massive cable in there. It's just going to kink up. So again, like in anything, you know, it will wear out a little bit. That's his locking mechanism there. Works really easy. Down here is also storage for firewood and charcoal. LED lights. And we don't talk about this, but we need to. We do heat shrink connections. So they're definitely waterproof, excuse me, weatherproof. I don't know if they're, if you can submerge them in water, but we do very, we try to really heat gun them well. They're probably even waterproof. Over here is his triple sink hand wash station, NSF sinks, double faucets. He got the nice upgraded hot chili red gas land burner. Under there says water tank, plenty of space. But again, you should always keep water in your water tank because this does generate heat and you don't want to melt your tank. Plenty of room here for coolers, firewood, charcoal, same thing over here. We try to give as much room as possible. And up here is his propane tank holder and he can even do a deep fryer. People ask me, why do we have holes here? Well, because driving down the road, 
might hit a big construction bump, he can run a bungee from one side to another or a steel cable if he wants to hold his pizza oven down. I know they weigh quite a bit, but still, these highways suck. And over here's his super heavy duty frame. And again, tow dolly. I believe he's getting the tow dolly, which he's a smart man to do that because he doesn't want to have a bad back like me because I'm going to the chiropractor today to try to last another week out here. So give us a call, holler, text 770-866-2561. If you want a pizza oven, Santa Maria Argentinian meat rack, give us a call. Have a great day. Bye-bye.